And a peek into the locker room. Players soaking in the last few moments before the game. Some final preparations here. Thanks everyone for joining 2K Sports for this Wednesday evening presentation of the NBA. Alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll talk to Allie LaForce, who's on the sidelines as well. And a chance to see the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Always fun to see where everyone in the league stands. Taking a look at Cleveland, they've risen to third in the latest Power Rankings, playing well as of late. Seeing where Los Angeles is, they're doing more than what people expected. And that's because they're getting solid contributions from some unlikely sources. And now the Los Angeles starters. Russell and Reeves teaming up in the backcourt. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the three, the small forward. And for Cleveland, Garland and Mitchell, the talented one and two. At the four and the five, the lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen. And it's Wade in at the three spot. Better be on your game tonight, Clark. These teams like to go, go, go. Exciting for us and the fans, B.A., but exhausting for the defenses. I mean, it should be a high-scoring affair, up-tempo, windshield wiper quality. Expect a lot of substitutions to keep things fresh. Now here's Russell. Playing Phoenix, he was nearly unstoppable. Good work there as it goes. Love the take from Russell. D'Angelo just slicing his way inside with confidence. Garland against Russell. Garland looking around. Pass to Mitchell. Five to shoot. He can't get that one to fall. Davis with the defensive effort. Reeves finds Russell. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be Evan Mobley. Foul. Out of frustration, Russell, as he often does, dictating the tempo. You know, Clark, with the Lakers, at times it is hard to maintain a sense of continuity. Boy, it sure is, B.A. I mean, there's always pressure to improve or be at your best, but even more so when you're playing in the glitz and glamour of L.A. and all that history. And because of that, sometimes it can lead to high team turnover when you're playing for the Lakers. Slithery inside. Garland has that short area quickness. And now just over a minute played here in the first. It's James on the wing. From downtown. It's rebounded by Cleveland. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. They were so consistent from the three-point range in that one. And that's a nice weapon to have as a visiting team. Yeah, you know, the defense had no answer for him. To do that kind of damage on the road, impressive. Here's Russell. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Here's James, and the layup falls. Garland with the ball. In the game against New York, very impressive. Pass to Wade. Mitchell against Reeves. Mobley passes to Wade. Outside Mitchell. Let's the three fly. Sinks the tray. He's always a threat to bury a catch-and-shoot jumper. Mitchell doesn't waste time. The Lakers have gone just two for four from the floor. And Allie LaForce spoke with Kenny Atkinson. Allie? I asked Coach what it's like facing LeBron now versus earlier in his career, and he quickly responded, not much. He's still extremely difficult to game plan for. Even at this stage of his career, he remains a dominant force. So limiting his production will be crucial for them in this matchup, guys. Thank you for that, Allie. Now here's Garland. Three-pointer. Connects from downtown. Garland's got five. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you can fire three of your own. Boom. James, the rebound by Allen. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. That's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. And the shot is good by Garland. He's three or 
four now, looking real confident out the gate. And we've got a timeout called by J.J. Redick. And we might see some changes. Coach potentially looking to adjust. the 2K leaderboard. Here were the NBA's top dime droppers last year. Number five, LeBron James. Not a lot of guys had better vision on the floor than him. He was able to see passing lanes and ready shooters no one else could. And James has got the ball here for the Lakers. They trail by one. The fader. And again, the Lakers, no good. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. They set the pick from deep. Mitchell. Oh, he missed that one. One for three in this one so far. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three-point land so far. You know, Clark, 2024 saw Anthony Davis make his return to the All-Star game. And really, B.A., such a pleasure to see him back on the court healthy and producing. That's not been an issue. The issue has been him being hurt and not being able to be on the court. But he's a perennial all-star when he's healthy and playing and doing exactly what he's done throughout his career at both ends, be a dominant center. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. They get it back. Pass to Wade. Now here's Allen. And here's Mitchell. He's covered by Reeves. Six on the shot clock. To the middle. Mobley passes to Wade. Knocks down the triple. And a nice find by Mobley. Keeping his eyes up and his options open. Outside Reeves. Over Mitchell. On the mark with the 15-footer. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. Here's Garland. He has seven. Here he goes. Pass to Mobley. Uses the glass to finish the layup. The Lakers trail. James passes to Reeves. Back to James. Three-pointer. On target from range. James has got five. Yeah, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Here's Wade. Stolen by Russell. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Here's Hachimura. It's rebounded by Wade. For Cleveland, they've gone 6 of 11 so far. Pass to Garland. 4-3. Counted from distance. He's got 10. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. And here's Hachimura. And it's slammed in by Hachimura. That is big time by Hachimura. No mercy at all. And how about our AT&T 5G slam can? Couldn't have captured that play any better. For Cleveland, they've gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. Let's it fly. And it's Mitchell, the miss. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too, thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. Niang, he's checked in for the Cavs. Struess comes in for Wade. Now here's Garland. Ten points for him. Count it. Here's Vincent. Pass to Christie, to the right side. Hayes with it. Niang's there. Hayes, the pass to Christie. Six to shoot. 
There's Davis with the three. Out of bounds. It'll be Cavaliers ball. Grant, the Cavs making the playoffs the last two years. A big deal in Cleveland. Well, outside of years with LeBron on the roster, they hadn't made the postseason since 1998. But this group of Cavaliers time out, time out. are making their own history now. Allen, he's checked in for the Cavs. Karis LeVert comes in for Donovan Mitchell. And Kenny Atkinson has called a timeout. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. Third and fast break points. And here's a team that loves sharing the ball. Top five in assists. They had an offense that did not stagnate. And when you look at their field goal percentage last season, it's obvious this was a team that made smart offensive decisions and didn't rush to take shots. Now here's Davis. He's got five. And he lays it up and in. Davis has gotten his third basket of the night. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Here's Garland. 12 points for him. Allen can't get it to go. 121 left to play in the first. Vincent passes to Davis. Over Allen. That one rolls around and rims out. The Cavaliers trail by three. Liang outside. goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Jerome's checked in for Garland. Cleveland shooting their first free throw of the night. First team foul. And when you look at the Lakers, a lot has happened since their championship run in 2020, Clark. Yeah, it really has, B.A., and I think some of it you have to attribute it to a significant amount of roster turnover. And then you pair that with coaching changes. One of the keys to being successful in anything and at any level and in the NBA, stability, continuity. You've got to have it with your executive management team, coaches, and players. And they've not had that, so the consistency has been hard to find. Now here's Struess. And he also played a big role in their last game with New York. Nia, right side. Here's Jerome. All sorts of time. Good as the jump shot falls. And the Cavaliers lead by two. With the utmost belief in his game, he's able to beat opponents in a number of ways. Pass to Christie. Davis with it. What a performance for Darius Garland. He has been the story for Cleveland. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. We'll be right back with you shortly. in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And, and another thing, they found the open man. Really playing unselfish basketball, moving the ball around there on the perimeter. Sam Merrill out there with Karis LeVert. Then there's George Niang, then it's Max Struess, and it's Allen in at the five. That's the five for Cleveland right now. The Lakers with a rebound. And this matchup with the Cavaliers, it's their first meeting of the season. Pass to Achimura. Here's Connect. Now Vincent, five on the clock from deep Reeves. Struess grabs the miss. To the paint. Here's Levert. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Levert's got his first two points of the night. On the wing, Achimura. Back to Vincent. 
Here's Connect, covered by Struess. From deep, Reeves gets the three to fall. Reeves has got five now. Reeves punches that one home, showing off the athleticism. Pass to Nia. Now here's LeBert. Jacks up a three. It's Hayes with the rebound. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Vincent passes to Reeves. And Los Angeles, another three. Hey, it's clear and obvious why they're winning. Fantastic shooting from deep. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. The Cavaliers are having success. Point guard Darius Garland said, we're building something here and we've come a long way. It feels amazing having our own legacy. We're just trying to keep it going. The whole city is behind us. And Brian, they know there's still work to do. And they've got no problem with that, Ali. Thank you. Now here's Reeves. Coming in off 12 points in his last outing. And here's Connect outside. And another three for the Lakers. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. All right, on the line, we've got our insider, Shams Charania. What do you have for us, Shams? Well, guys, it was all high fives and handshakes in the Lakers draft room when they selected Dalton Connect with the 17th pick. His ability to work off the ball and space the floor is seen as an ideal fit alongside the Lakers stars. And Coach J.J. Redick is more than familiar on how to capitalize Connect's skill set. The Lakers were shocked that Connect fell to them at 17. But guys, they are more than excited. No question. All right, Chomps, thank you. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Wade's checked in. Merrill, left side. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Allen, the pass to Merrill. Just five to shoot. Here's Levert. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And this is a star-driven league, but talk about the importance of role players, Grant. Oh, B.A., a lot of times they're the ones who carry the day. You know what you'll get from your stars, but when the X factor ignites, that can make the difference. Darius Garland, he's checked in for Merrill. And Grant for the Cavs to take that next step in terms of contending. What do you think has to happen? Well, number one, enhancing their ability to put pressure on the rim. When you look at their rate of free throws and offensive rebounds, there is big room for improvement. Now here's Struess. No points so far. To the wing on the left. Garland for three. And that's Russell. I mean, he has the length to disrupt and bother shots, even against bigger or more explosive athletes. And James puts up a deep three. The Cavaliers pull it in. Following this game, they host the Magic. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Hayes with it. He's picked up by Garland. Hayes, the pass to James. Hayes with a screen on Struess. Here's James going inside. Count it. Make that three of seven so far for him. Yeah, they call him the freight train. LeBron James, when he's coming down the court like that, good luck trying to stop him. Back to Garland. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Garland's got 14. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. James, outside. It's deflected. Outside, Struess. To the inside. Here's LeVert. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Now just a two-point Laker lead. Like the way LeVert controls himself. Always under control. Knows what he's looking for. Takes his time. Particularly when he's close to the basket. And since we have a moment, here are last year's most efficient scorers around the league. The fourth spot held by Jared Allen. So consistent from the floor. He shot it at a great clip last season. Mitchell's checked in for the Cavaliers. Garland against Russell. Pass to Struess. Launches a three. Drops in the three. And the Cavaliers lead by one. And you pay so much attention to Garland, and that allows teammates to get involved. 
And we've got a timeout call by J.J. Redick. Coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan. The Lakers have gone four for seven in the second quarter. James outside with the drive. Good on the bucket. James has got nine points. LeBron's skill level is so great. I mean, that mid-range is not his go-to, but he can do it all, so it looks like it's part of his go-to. And Reeves pulls it down. Love to see guys challenge one another like that. Advantage to the defense that time. Russell, that's good. In general, I think they're finding good looks from beyond the arc. Steadily improving as this game's going along. Cavaliers trail by four. Outside Garland. And here's Struess outside. And Reeves pulls it down. And so it's Russell who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. that two points and a chance for one more at the line boy i like the way russell used his body there finishing through contact and he'll go to the line for a three-point play opportunity niang he's checked in for cleveland from undrafted to closing games with lebron and ad austin reeves what a story Mark. it really is a great story i mean this guy has just continued to prove the doubters wrong Nobody's going to outcompete him. He's fearless. He's got great skill. Doesn't lack for confidence either. He's one of my favorite players to watch. A volume shooter at the arc. Mitchell will rarely hesitate to take that. There's Davis with the three. Davis showing his range. Now shooting the three ball at almost a 60% clip. They've been blazing this second quarter. Nia outside. Pass to Wade. Now Garland. That one's good. Seven for ten now. And right now Garland is cooking. His teammates would be wise to keep feeding him. Outside Reeves. And here's Davis. Too strong. Davis for two. I'll tell you what, they are on fire this quarter, taking total command of this game. Now, I don't know if this field goal percentage is sustainable, but if they can stay close to what they've done in shooting the ball, they'll, they'll run away with this one. Back to Struess. Shot clock at six. There's a screen. Cleveland needs to get off a shot from deep Mitchell. You don't know exactly where Davis is. He's going to deny your shot, so you got to be aware of his presence. A different look for Cleveland. Thompson, he's checked in for Niang. And Karis Levert is subbed in for Struess. The Lakers also with a sub. Christie's checked in. Outside Russell. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Pass to Davis. Got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. The Cavaliers trail by seven. Let's it fly from 18. Levert, that's good. Levert's got seven points. I find Levert to be at his best when he's in rhythm. When he's pulling up off the dribble, you know he's feeling. Russell, the pass to Reeves. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Pretty clear. It's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Here's Wade. Down low. Levert up top. Outside Garland. Just five on the clock. With the floater. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. Hachimura's got a rebound number five here tonight. Outside Davis. Oh, 
and misses it off the right side of the rim. Cleveland has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. The verge, that's good. And they had early success from the perimeter, but I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. And, and trailing in this game, now is not the time to start playing conservatively. I mean, if you've got an open look from deep, let it go. I mean, you've got to play freely and with confidence. That one's good from Achimura on the assist by Davis. And the Lakers lead by seven. Cleveland has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Outside Mitchell. Oh, oh misses the dunk. Come on. If you're going to go for the crazy dunk, you better finish it. And so it's Los Angeles closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. Fans, please bring your attention to center court. Thanks for being here. Let's kick things off with a check on the NBA Players of the Week. In the Western Conference, Shea Gilgis Alexander. You could tell that teams aren't sure how to defend SGA. He gets into the lane so easily, and he can also hit the three ball. Now, he's a good floor general, lots to work with. Feels like he just keeps getting better and better and better and better. And guys, we saw an incredible performance from Anthony Davis in that first half, doing what he does best. He came in on a mission, he's destroying people. Even when they run two at him, they could have run five at him, Shaq, and he'd still be knocking it down. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. It's been a clinic out there by Darius Garland. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of it. Here's Garland. And so in the game for the Lakers, Russell and Reeves teaming up in the backcourt. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the three. Garland for three. Rebounded by LeBron. Los Angeles leading by seven. Davis down low. Allen defending. Achimura left side. It's rebounded by Wade. Wade's got four rebounds in the game. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Russell. All by himself. And there's the lob. Oh, Davis. Finish it off the lob. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Brian Donovan Mitchell wears number 45 because that was Michael Jordan's number when he played baseball. Mitchell's father was a pro player and Donovan said, baseball was my sport. I had my mind made up. I wanted to make the majors, but in high school, a broken wrist on the diamond caused his focus to shift. Brian, I'd say it worked out. Yeah, I'd say so. Thanks, Allie. Here's James. The Cavs getting their last shot to go. Davis, a screen. An open look for Russell. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got his fifth rebound in this one. 
Here's Wade. Hachimura covering. Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Allen's got some old school big man in him. He's got great hands and mobility and does a good job finishing above the rim. Pass to Davis. Back to Russell. And the foul called on Evan Mobley. That'll be a second foul of the game. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. The three, James. And it's all about length for Mobley on defense. He can trap you with those long arms. Clark, it's special getting to call LeBron James games. How is the Kings still doing this at this age? B.A., I think they're guys that come along every 30, 40 years that are just different than other guys, other players. He's in that category. One of the all-time greats. And he's just been remarkable. Certainly DNA has a role in his longevity and excellence, but you got to give him a ton of credit. He's committed time out, time to out. being at a high level for a long time, and it's remarkable to watch him do what he's doing at this age. And Kenny Atkinson has called a timeout. He'll take the opportunity to regroup. had loved to run last year's team leaders in fast break points in the third spot the Lakers you know it really made for some exciting games the way this team ran the floor always maintaining impressive energy in transition just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now Mobley passes to Garland now here's Mitchell Six points for him. Looking to get back on track. And Mitchell with the slam. Yeah, nothing you can do about that. I mean, Mitchell finds airspace and fills it. Russell finds James. Takes the three. Oh, LeBron buries the three. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Inside. Pass to Wade. To the left wing. Clock at six. Russell against Garland. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Los Angeles leading by six. Davis down low. He's against Allen. Hachimura, the pass to Davis. Goes back up. Oh, through contact, A.D. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. To the inside. Oh, tried to dunk it home, but he drew the foul, and he'll go to the line. And, you know, when Allen gets this positioning, the defense is in trouble, which in turn forces them to commit the foul. It's his first trip to the line. And that one misses. I like that Allen plays with attitude. He's got a competitive streak, and it blends so well with his natural athletic ability. And the Lakers with some changes. Hayes is checked in for Anthony Davis. Connect comes in for Achimura, and Christie subbed in for Reeves. Now here's Russell. 13 points in the game. Pass to Connect from outside the arc. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Connect's got six points. And just unreal from outside with deep range. Connect is just knocked down. Here's Wade. Allen outside. The 17-footer. That's good on the jumper. Mobley's got his second bucket of the game. I'd like to see them run more plays for him. Maybe something in motion to make it harder for the defense to deny the ball. Hayes with a screen on Mitchell. Christie passes to Russell. James with the ball. Shoots over Mobley. And it comes off the front of the rim. 
good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid-range. Here's Garland. And it's Cleveland with another. Getting it done from the mid-range. Garland loves using this area of the floor. And so J.J. Reddick calls for the timeout. He wants to give him a breather and talk things over. Struce, he's checked in for Wade. The Lakers lead by six. James, outside. Russell to pass to Christie. Back to Russell. Here's Christie. Pass to Russell. Down to five on the shot clock. Now James. Shoots over Mobley. And once again, off the mark by Los Angeles. You know, guys, you can tell he wants to contribute more, but his teammates have picked up the slack for him. That's what being on the team is all about. Now here's Garland. 18 points for him. Nails it from three. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Hayes with a screen on Garland. The three from Russell. He drops it from range. Russell's got 16 points now. Guys, you can just about count on it. If you score on Russell, you better believe he's looking to come right back at you. From deep, Struce. And the Cavaliers, another three. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. James finds Russell. Back to James. It's stolen by Garland. And pushing it up. Here's Cleveland. And it's Allen who slams it home. Woo-hoo-hoo. That's the stuff of nightmares for the defense. They'll see that one in their sleep. A long athlete like Allen flying in the air. That's a bad picture. And a shot by James. No good. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Yeah, tip for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Give them credit. They fought hard to get back into it, and now they're rewarded with the lead. Niang, he's checked in for the Cavs. Karis LeVert comes in for Garland, and we know Donovan Mitchell is a superb scorer. But Grant, what do you think he's focused on at this point of his career? Well, B.A., it's all about championships for him. This is a guy that doesn't just want to be seen as an elite player. He really wants to compete for titles, too. Wow, Davis on fire right now. Doing just about anything he wants on offense. LeVert up top. He's got nine. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got five rebounds tonight. Hayes, the pass to Vincent. Over Mitchell. Hayes with it. Niang's there. And finished off by Hayes. Oh, man, the defender bites on the up fake, giving him a clear line to the basket. Hey, when it works, that move is just too pretty. Yeah, he did. It was beautiful. You've got to sell that up fake, and he did. And Cleveland has possession, following the score by Los Angeles. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. What you love about Mitchell, he plays with energy, explosiveness, and courage. All right, a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Lakers. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. Also, they were ultra consistent from outside, hitting a high percentage of those shots tonight. Vincent passes to Davis. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on Karis LeVert. Davis' skill set is a nightmare for defenders. That's why they have a tough time guarding him without foul. The first one falls. Well, Clark, the first nine years of his career, he played mostly power forward. But over the last three, Anthony Davis playing a lot of center. And I think his game has become more focused on staying in the paint, which is where he's dominant. He's added tons of strength over the years. He's using that to his advantage. He's always been one of the special players in the league, in my opinion. And he's still one of the top 15 guys in the league for sure. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. 
Davis against Levert. Outside Davis. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game thus far. Cleveland on top, leading by one. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Garland and Levert team up in the backcourt. Max Struess is out there with George Nye. And it's Wade in at the center position, locking down the middle. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Here's Garland, following the score by the Lakers. And Graham, when you look at Darius Garland, he has a very polished offensive game. Absolutely. He's great at creating for himself, but also knows when to get others involved. He can score from anywhere, and he works incredibly hard on his craft. That's good from Garland. Getting to the line more since his career has gone on. Garland, a deployable free throw shooter. Garland hits them both. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Now here's Vincent. Pass to James. Fires from deep. The Lakers with the rebound. Hayes. No good on the shot. The Cavaliers leading. Here's Struess. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. What you can't help but notice this half is how lights out they've been from the free throw line. He missed a chance to put him up by three. You know he'd like to have that one back. Pass to Vincent. Over Garland. James outside. Nice work inside from James. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Here's Wade. The three. They get it back. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Lakers. We've gone about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. And here's James. To the middle. Pass to Reddish. Back to James. Six on the shot clock. Gets the bucket and the foul! It's going to be on Karis LeVert. Defender gets caught in a bad position there. LeBron so powerful, powerful enough to convert through contact. James is checked in for Christie. Clark, what's incredible about LeBron? He makes as big of an impact off the court as he does on it. B.A., I think it's going to be one of the great case studies when he's all done playing, how he's impacted the game and uplifted people across the country and world. He's a tremendous advocate for social justice. He's obviously a shrewd and successful businessman, and he's been a vocal leader who also leads by example. He's actually epitomizing the change he'd like to see in other folks and inspiring along the way. And we've got a timeout called by Kenny Atkinson. He wants their game plan to be crystal clear at this point. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, over the break, I did listen in on Kenny Atkinson's huddle. And he was adamant that they need to tighten up their D. That lack of communication at that end has led to breakdowns, wide open shooters, and easy buckets. He sounded pretty frustrated, guys. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Wade, the pass to Garland. 
Back to Wade. Can they get it? And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. <laughs> Win or lose, this is the fight you want to see from your players. Yeah, you know what? I agree. I mean, they're showing a bunch of fortitude here, keeping this game tight. Now, here's James. There's the strength of the king. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. James against LeVert. 11 feet out. And he gets it to go off the front iron. Yeah, you know, the mid-range, Jay, continuing to look better over time for LeVert. Showing real improvement in knocking that shot down. Now here's Vincent. Pass to James. And the rebound goes to Cleveland. LeVert's got his fourth rebound in this one. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for Los Angeles. On Friday, they're off to Toronto to face off with the Raptors. And then Monday, they continue the road trip, heading out to Detroit to take on the Pistons. The road is never the highlight of your schedule for any team. But for these guys, it is a chance to go out there, test themselves, and see how well they gel outside of home court. It could be a very valuable experience. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Achimura's checked in for the Lakers. Reeves comes in for Vincent. And it's slammed in by Achimura. Boy, this team is comfortable with Reeves running the show. He's an excellent decision maker. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Pass to Wade. Back to Mitchell. Mobley outside. Here's Wade. Checked by James. Here's Niang. He nails it. And we're tied. Niang's got five points now in the quarter. And that's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? Mitchell against Reeves. Pass to James. Hachimura outside. Hayes with a screen. And here's Reeves outside. And count it. Now five for seven. Coming right back with his own. Austin Reeves with the confident response. Mitchell against Reeves. Beyond the arc. And it's Mitchell, the miss. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. James with the ball. Pass to Achimura. Now here's Reeves. Here's Hayes. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. Cavaliers trail by three. Niang, the pass to Wade. Out to Mobley. The three from Mitchell. Rebound by the Lakers. Hachimura's got rebound number eight now. Not his best night, and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. Reeves gets to the corner and hits it. And now a five-point Los Angeles lead. Reeves almost making it look really easy. Gets the ball and takes the shot. From deep, Mitchell. Again, the miss by Mitchell. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. Pulls up at the elbow. Reddish misses. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Cavaliers. Allen outside. Another shot. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. It's on Rui Achimura. As bad as he was in the first half, that's how good he's been since. And Kenny Atkinson has called a timeout. He wants to make sure they're purposeful with the game plan. And Cleveland making a change here. Garland's checked in, and Los Angeles making a change here. 
Wait. Allen, no good on the free throw. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Now, here is James. Shot is good by Reeves. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Mitchell against Reeves. Allen with a screen on Reeves. Looking to get it going. Mitchell misses. A rough game for him scoring the ball. Just can't seem to get it going. Reeves finds James. No good with the triple. Cavaliers trail by six. Pass to Garland. Outside Mitchell. Over Reeves. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Mitchell. Boy, that looked like a failure to communicate. You hate unforced errors. James against Mobley. Oh, and Mobley with the block. Yeah, nice timing on the rejection. Mobley showing you how incredible defensively he can be. Here's Reeves. That one falls. 8 of 10 and scoring with confidence. 146 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Charity stripe shot. Achimura with a rebound. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his... Wow! LeBron making some noise. Well, he seems ageless at times, guys. Somehow, some way, LeBron continues to rip off these insane sequences time and time again. Remarkable. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good look. by our terrific camera crew. And Cleveland has possession. Following the score by the Lakers. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. Los Angeles leading by seven. Here's Davis. And then Davis punches it home! It's clear that Davis loves to put on the show for the fans, and putting on the show is exactly what he's doing. And we've got 118 left in the fourth quarter of this one. The three from Mitchell. And Cleveland another three. It's spider time. Donovan Mitchell. Ice in his veins. Russell the pass to James. Back to Russell. Pass to James. Allen against Davis. Over Allen. Shot clock at five. Davis can't hit. And here comes Cleveland. Six-point game. To the paint. From six feet away. It falls! And now they trail by just four. When you need one bad, go to a high-percentage shooter, and Allen is that guy. Forty seconds left in the fourth. And an intentional foul right there. Good on the first. And that puts him up five. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a six-point ball game. You know, important for him to come through at the line there because they want to expand that lead. Mitchell against Reeves. And it's Mitchell. The miss. And he commits the intentional foul. He drops the first one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And James considered a franchise talent without question. This guy is the complete package. And so both free throws good. And it's an eight-point ball game. 
And this one feels just about over. Yeah, they'll play it out, but I think it just wasn't meant to be tonight. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Garland against Reeves. Pass to James. Los Angeles picking up the win. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. And now we have Ali LaForce standing with the player of the game. Ali, take it away. LeBron, you've accomplished so much in this league. How have you been able to sustain it for so long? You know, it's only a select few. It's not many who make it to this point. And, and I would never take the game for granted. That's why I try to give everything I can till I can't give no more. And uh, I've been around some great players, great coaches, great organizations. And uh, for me to have this opportunity right here means a lot, and I'm very humble. Well, you're a sponge for knowledge, and you have a great work ethic, and it's been fun to watch. Thanks, LeBron. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. And now let's take a look at our player of the game, LeBron James.